I will be showing you how to install Mii, oh no, how to install Pixel Experience OS on the Mi Max 2. So, you have to, I mean, you can get it on any device as long as you have the right ROM. So, it will work with any, this method will work with any other Mi device like the Mi Max, Mi Max Prime, Redmi Notes, and Redmi's, and I don't know, possibly every Android phone. As long as you can find the right ROM, you can get TWRP, and you can unlock Bootloader. So you have to download the ROM first, and then it, yeah, and then you have to first unlock Bootloader on your Mi phone if it has Bootloader. Then install TWRP. I'll leave the link to get Groid, to this Get Groid Tips website because it has a kind of uh, somewhat very detailed steps on how to do this so I'll leave the link in the description and if you click on these it'll tell you how to unlock bootloader or install TWRP so then you have to copy the downloaded file which in this case is the pixel experience file 900 megabytes you have to copy it to your phone and because I'm using a Mac you have to I use the Android file transfer app if you use Windows you also need to have some USB drivers or something and you copy the thing in there so then that's it for the computer and moving on to the phone so on the phone right now I have the resurrect and remix OS and first you have to boot in you might want to back up your data such as whatsapp chats or telegram things and stuff so then you'd want to boot into bootloader which basically you hold which basically you hold the you first powered off where's power off there you, you shut down and by the way this is the Mi Max 2 as you can kind of tell it's just like that Back. I have a case so now you hold down the volume button and the volume up. It's kind of another power button and volume up button. At least that's what I think. They tell you it's unlocked because I've already unlocked it. So now it's in Team Win, which T W R P. Team Win Recovery Project. So if you want to back up, you best back up. Which I might want to back up. Um, I don't know. It's kind of big. You know what? I, I won't back it up. I'll just press wipe. And following the steps on XDA developers, which I'll also leave a link in the description, you have to wipe. You have to format, which is the same thing as wipe. You press advanced wipe. And then you select system data vendor, cache, and this thing, yeah, and that's it, so, there you press swipe, swipe to wipe, You go back, you go back, you, you might just want to press home, press install, and then since you didn't wipe the data in your phone, you still have the, the ROM here. So now you want to swipe to flash, and because GAPPS is installed, it will work without installing GAPPS. Which is Google Apps. It is supposed to take like maybe five minutes around so if it takes just 30 seconds you might think that it's gone wrong or something. I mean this speed is kind of normal because once I got it to run and then it only took like 10 seconds or 
something. So I knew that it was going wrong. Fast forward. Yes, and there it works. You can tell that it is Pixel Experience because it has the Google Food logo. And yes, there's that thing loading because it's first time boot.